once again guys thank you very much for coming back to the channel thank you for stop stopping by subscribing liking and sharing because um you guys do a great job on my previous video the reason why I'm going so fast, because I don't want to take up too much of your time. This video is a quick video, is a prediction video. And I want you guys to comment and tell me what you think about my prediction. And you can also post your prediction. At this moment here, I don't think Jamaica can win the 4x4 four four on the men's side. They cannot win the 4x4 four four on the men's side unless they set up the race properly. The race have to be set up right. My take, the way I would do it, from a coaching standpoint, I would go with Rashid McDonald and the first leg, the Erdler, which is Clark, and the second leg, Bailey and the third leg, and Watson and the fourth leg. I'm going to break it down real quick and tell you the reason why I would go with it that way. The reason why is because Rashid McDonald is capable of handling anybody that start that Erdler, that start that, um, that race. And um, the Erdla is very strong, so he will be able to maintain a nice little lead if we got a lead. USA going to throw their Erdla in there. Rai Benjamin will be running on the USA 4x1, 4x4. I'm going fast, guys, so just bear with me. Just give me a little chance here. So Rai Benjamin will be running on the US 4x4, all right? So at this moment here, we're going with Rashid McDonald. Clark to Bailey to Watson. If we find ourselves ahead at any point or even two meters behind, when Watson get the button, it shouldn't be a problem for us. There's nobody out there that Watson is afraid of. And this guy confident is through the roof. And this is a relay. The adrenaline rush, the crowd, and the everything is going to push him to another level. That's what you have to understand. These championships will change your life. They will make you do things that you never even think of. Things that you never even thought you would be able to get done. And that's what competition does. So if we can get up to at least two to three meters behind, that would be a great position to be in. But Jamaica cannot win this race if they don't set up the race the right way. But one more thing that I just need to let you guys know. Sometimes we see these race at championships set up a certain way and we wonder why, why? But we have to also consider that um, the Erdler already make some money. Whatever position he finished, I think he was fourth. Um, what did he What did he finish? Um, I, I totally forgot. But whatever position he finished, once you're in the final, you got some money. So say, in, for instance, we got a 400-meter a runner down there that I will make any money yet. They will squeeze that person in just for that person not to come back to Jamaica empty-handed. Because remember, the, the, we in the final of the relay, there's going to be some money. That money is going to be split between the team, the relay team. The relay team, the, the people that run on the final, and also the people that run in the heat that qualify the team to the final. The money is going to share between all those people. It's $80,000 for the winner and $60,000 for second place. So with that money on the line, the, 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 the committee will put somebody in that relay that I won't make any money yet just for that person to go back home with something in his hand. And I do understand. So you have to understand that it's not that they want to win sometime, but even if they walk away with $60,000 in the second place and they have two fresh people on the team that haven't make any money, that makes sense. So everybody go back home with something and they feel happy, their family happy, everybody happy for them. Just imagine you go all the way to Budapest. You've been over there for maybe, they, they, they camp out over there for like maybe three weeks. And then you going back empty-handed and that guy over there stuck he win he they put him in four race he dominate he got his pocket full of money when they could have squeezed someone else in and let everybody on the team going back home with something in their hands something you have to look at it like that i do it like that and my team so if if you don't understand sometime they do that just to make everybody happy. So, in for instance, if I have a kid on the team, if we travel, if we go to a far track meet, if we travel, 
and I see that there is one kid on the team that this kid haven't won any medal yet. There's nothing. He's not happy because he haven't won anything. You know, we want a team to be happy. We want a happy team. We want a team with chemistry. So we, um, I would say, okay, we're going to take you out because you already win two medals. You win a medal in this and you win a medal in that. We're going to substitute you out and we're going to put this guy in because he haven't won anything yet. Let him go back home with something. Because we know the relay team is going to win or come second or third. So we put in somebody in there that haven't got nothing yet. So this person get a medal and go back home happy. When he get back home, a matter of fact, my club is a Swiffers track club. So we coach kids. If you look it up online, Swiffers, S-W-I-F-F. I, am I spelling it right? I'm going to put the, I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm going to put the link below so you guys can see the link. S-W-I-F-F-E-R-S. Track club.